Hey, my awesome Time Lords and Time Titus Travis, welcome to Let's Play Angels with Scaly Wings. A beautiful game that I wanted to play. I'm a big fan of this, so I'm using my controller, by the way. Protecting user profile. What, me? User profile not found. Hey! Okay. Oh, we can enter our name with the key. Right. G, no wait, G-A-R-E-T-H. No. How do I do this? Uh, let's try something. No. no. Choose a color. Show more colors. Ooh. I got to choose a color. I always liked uh green, red, and yellow. I don't know, there's a lot of colors I like. I like red versus blue. I like Master Chief and yellow is like an elite. Uh I'm gonna go with green. Yes. Before we start, please review this following information. Controls. Use uh, left click or enter. Yes. Okay, I got it, but I'm playing with a controller. Shut up. I don't care about this. Thank you, system. Can we continue now? The year is 20XX, so... All of recently as humanity has discovered a portal that leads into a different world populated with a race of intelligent talking dragons. I was the one of the few to travel to this world. But maybe I should start at the beginning. It all began when we discovered a strange device in the middle of nowhere during one of our expeditions. A portal. What from the game portal? This was a triumph. Do 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 do. I forgot to turn off my steam, so if you see my friends popped up, no, you can't add them, guys. So the year... Okay. Let's continue. I heard about a similar technology before, though it had been more on an experimental level. From what I knew, other portals had been created in the past and were under consideration for mass application. As for this one in particular, though, we did not know who had built it nor when why we found it in the wilderness where we did. What was more exciting to us was the fact that it was functional. Our first test we found there was someone else on the other side who was in the possession of a similar portal and our attempts at communication through letters were successful. But in the end the machine's extraordinary demand for power meant we needed to act quickly as we wouldn't be able to keep the portal open much longer when we Made this known to the other side, we received an expected reply. A lie of invitation after some deliberation. It was decided to accept their hospitality and send a person to the other side. There was an individual who took the job almost immediately. Was that me? That's gotta be me. Was he, uh. Ressa. Is queer though? I knew him, or rather, uh, I knew him, or rather, I had known him. We attended at the same school back then and even had a few classes together. We never really were very close friends, but we talked to each other of, uh, to each other occasionally and hung around with the same crowd sometimes. However, we still went our separate ways in the end. 
It's my first time reading this to you guys, seriously. Okay, let me just focus. Uh, I wasn't sure what to think about the whole thing, but he had to. But he had to. To have no one. What do do do? I ain't got time for this. <laughs> well, I was. Oh. So they chose him to go through the portal, so you don't get to call yourself whatever with your last name. So. It's monster and gun and devices that act as PDA. Ooh, sweet! We get to be a detective. He kind of looks like one. Then we waited. The crowd that was applauding him slowly dispersed when the enthusiasm died down as there was nothing for us to do but wait and speculate. Approximately eight hours received our first message from him. While well, we had seen the port had led to another in a different country, or maybe on a different continuum, the, the reality turned out to be more than fortune. The situation he described to us was so outlandish that we totally took it as a joke. A very bad joke, maybe with even worse timing and no punchline at all. It still became clear to us though that we may have just have made one of the most important discoveries since the dawn of mankind. Finding the portal had been remarkable in itself, but this took it a completely different level. For what he described about the place or more encouragingly the habits we submiss it could be could not be part of Earth at all. Golden dragons because according to Razor that's what they were or at least what they resemble most. You dragon haters must die If anyone hates dragons, I will come and eat you alive. <laughs> Just kidding. Well maybe. I don't know. Right, so uh, what was this clue? No, they're not aliens! They're dragons! Dragons are cool! What is wrong with you, woman? I I just don't get it, guys. Where is the game where we can... Oh, come on, man! We want to get into the game! And uh, you guys can read this while I'm just uh, continuing just talking about stuff. If you want to mute the, the volume, go ahead so you can read. Or just pause to read until you're done. Oh my gosh. Nobody cares about your PDAs unless they're cool PDAs. Huh. Well, still. Well. I want to play Night in the Woods as well, guys. Night in the Woods was pretty cool. I've got Watch Dogs coming in, but I don't know when. If I can get it up. So, yeah, let's see. Let's go. You got to pause to read, guys. Because. Would it hurt? I don't know. Who would I meet on the other side? Uh, Pootie Pie. Eh. That's what you'll probably meet. Or someone friendly. Friendly dragons is what I want to be. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa! What is going on? Whoa! I am time traveling! It's so pretty! I can see the big bag and uh, all of you being born and stuff. I don't know. I died. Game over. Are we done? So, okay. What do you mean by that? Then it was dark. Whoa. Wake up! Ah, it's a dragon! That's so cute! He's wearing glasses! So adorable. It was a dragon! And as I could now see a dragon who not only had a pair of brown glasses but wore a 
burgundy tie around its neck. What's wrong with ties? He's a scientist. Remy. In the name of our people, I bid you welcome. If I may introduce myself, I am Remy, your guide ambassador, representative of our council. <laughs> the giant spoke! Ah! <laughs> I just like doing that. It was one thing to have her to read about this, but something else entirely to have one standing in front of me in the flesh and blood and tongue. Really? It was a good that all my mental preparedness had disappeared when I was teleported because nothing could have prepared me for this. I'm sorry I imagine you might still feel the effects of teleportation. Drowsiness or weakness is not usual as it's fainted and spontaneous emptying your, of your bowels, bladder or stomach. How do you feel? I'm just speechless. I had totally forgotten that I was shouldering the burden of representing my people to them as well. So much for being professional, but at least he gave me a good excuse for my blunder. Yeah, my name! Let's come up. I, thi I think I'm alright. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Maybe we should go before it gets dark. Come with me, please. Where are we going? Are we gonna hug? So I followed the dragon, not straying too far from him, as the sun had already departed for the day, and the remaining light diminished by the minute. Elisa, it's getting hard to see where I'm going. Sorry about that, but we had a good reason to schedule your arrival like this. We did not want you to be ambushed by a crowd, so we had to keep your exact time and date of arrival secret. Thanks, I suppose an event like this would make me a celebrity of sorts. It would be the same if one of you came to us. Yeah! <laughs> By the way, I got the TV on. Uh, I've got Jacksepts Kai Night in the Woods happening. Because I'm trying to think, I might be thinking about playing Night in the Woods. It's really good, guys. Oh, how do I press? Oh. That's quite an understatement. Some people here are rather sus superstitious. They might regard you or any of your kind as divine, I suppose. Really? How so? You do have certain myths that involve humans as, as such. I suppose the history lesson will have to wait for another time. Here we are. Whoa. By this point it had gotten so dark I could barely make out the building before us. I really wonder whether they might have street lights elsewhere or if they did not require any due to possible enhanced eyesight or night vision. No! Oh! I can't see. What have they done to me? We could vaguely see the dragon. Is light colors still visible within the blackness that engulfed the area rear up airman pulls the door handle with one of his four paws ah that's so double ah yay we're going inside first time playing the game i can actually see Ooh, classic hinges creaking the door opened and with a flick of switch the apartment was flooded with light Blinding me after all the time we just spent without it. So I can quick save this in case if I need to end the episode here. This is where you'll, you will live for the time being. It is fully stuck, but in case you need anything else, I left you a note with a few phone numbers. It is getting rather late, so I will have to... To take my lead now. In any case, some will come and meet you tomorrow morning. Thank you, Remy. Have a good night. Until we meet again. What, so I don't get to say my name to you? With a nod, Remy left the apartment, mindful enough to close the door behind himself. So, varying the room, I concerned the events that had just transpired as my gaze met the window. What, so I don't get a TV? Do I have a TV or not? 
I could see the movement outside as I drew near a stop. I could hear footsteps in the grass. Moving away quickly, I assume it must have been the dragon I just met. I thought nothing of it as I went to bed and slowly scumbled to the sweet hour of sleep overdue. I spent a few minutes thinking about my role, my mission, and what it meant to be here now. I felt responsibility placed on my shoulders. I was so eager for the adventure to come. I don't know what to say. I wanted an adventure, so I'm going to say this. Now here, I was a stranger in the la in a strange land, and I only began to feel the weight of the burden that lay upon me. The pressure of my tasks, the ex expectations I would have to meet in representing a species, culture, and civilization. So many would depend on it, yet I did not even know where the only human contact I had currently was. I was alone. Chapter 1 In Inception Where are we going? Hmm Oh, it's morning Ah, I just gotta get something to eat I woke from my uneasy dreams Looking for an unfamiliar shilling Wait just for the moment I wonder where I was before the events of last night all came back to me. After a good stretch, I looked around the room, illuminated by the sunlight coming in from the window. Outside in the distance, the portal I had emerged from probably stood on the peak of a small hill. Getting ready! I noticed something lying on the table. It was a note. The note Remy had left for me, in case I needed anything. Along with his home home phone and work number, they were also some numbers for delivery of food and other necessaries, as well as emergency and even janitorial services. He had certainly thought of everything, even though I now had to wonder what a dragon plumber might look like. My amusements were interrupted when the doorbell rang. When I opened the door, I met. I was met by another dragon! Hello? Oh, that's so cute! It's like Jurassic Park, but. Cool. Sebastian! H Hello, you must be Gareth. I'm Sebastian. Bobby Escort. Or secu security. I suppose. Usually I work for the police, though. Nice to meet you. Ah! Yeah, get a guard! And you guys get nothing! Eh! <laughs> no, just kidding. You guys can guard me if you want, or I can guard you. Just give me one of your weapons and I'll just do what you can. So, yeah. So, yeah. You seem a lot smaller than Remy. And when he somewhat nervously extended his arms toward me, I noticed he apparently only walked on two on his hind legs, the two forelimbs instead of having distinct arms, hands, and fingers. I can kiss his hand! I can, I can kiss his hand. Shake his hand. I want to kiss his hand! I don't know! Yo, this is so, so mad. What do I do? Oh, so many decisions! Kiss his hand. I love dragons and I'm a big fan of them. I swear someone's gonna probably draw me like making the decision say like in my head. Ah decisions, don't shake his hand, shake his hand, or kiss his hand. Ah so many decisions. I am going to shake his hand. When I take his hand into mine to shake it gently, I can feel the individual bumps and scales on his rough skin. Nice to meet you, Sebastian. So where are you taking me? Straight to business, eh? We're going to visit the plant. Where they are making your generators. They have some news for you, or so I've heard. Razor will be there too. 
Sounds great. Just follow me. Oh, oh man. I don't want it. Well, we won't. I was under the impression we were purposefully avoiding the busier parts of the town. Instead, stay straight towards the edges and small alleys as to not garner too much attention. Even then, we got the occasional stare. Just the, after just a couple of minutes, we arrived at our destination, where we met by Razor, as well as yet another dragon, a vicious looking beast that didn't stay too close to it. Oh my gosh. No. Hey. Razor, long time no see. How true is this? <laughs> How true that is! Good to finally see another human face around here. What a condition. What a condition south you of, of all people show up. Yeah, I guess those degrees aren't so useful after all. By the way, who's your friend? Just my bodyguard, same as yours. Don't bother with him. He doesn't talk too much. I don't want to say he looks grumpy, I'll say just like you. Just like you. Very funny. <laughs> so that's you. That's Sebastian. The two drinks exchanged a few words, and as I met the gaze of the larger Tenebrous Dragon, a few places from us, Sebastian turned towards me and spoke up again. Hey, Eric, this is Maverick. Nice to meet you. Yeah, whatever. You just, just don't expect me to give you any special treatment like everyone else. It's a little bit cool. What are you talking about? So, you said you haven't noticed the stairs and how they all treat you like a uh, next measure or something? No, no, I just thought. We're not the ones making a big deal out of this. Yeah, we we'll just here to get what we agree on. Then we'll be gone. If anything, I actually prefer if you left us tonight. The other one who insists on following you and not wherever I go. Oh! A growl escaped the darker dragon's trembling lips as he bared his teeth out with razor. Alright, alright, that's quite enough. Let's just go inside already, shall we? After you. A bam bam. I don't know why. The crisis was quickly averted as we entered the building, which, characterized by its many floors, high ceilings, and long, narrow hallways, and Sebastian led us to our destination. Ah! Is it? There you are. I was waiting for you. I gotta make a cow voice. Is that he or she? Because that is adorable. So cute. I just want to hug you so much. Wait a minute. I thought we were going to meet you. The guys from production, what are you doing here? They're only coming in later today, so you'll just have to make deal with me. I see. Well, Gareth, this is Anna. Oh! She kind of manages this building, though. Actually, she's more involved with the research wing rather than production and engineering. Nice to meet you. My pleasure. I have something for you, by the way. It'll take them a, a while to make all the generators we promised. But we got one for you here. Feel free to send it home and give it a test. That's great. I'll take it. Looks a little small if you ask me. Don't let this make its power. Oh, and do be careful not to drop it. Sure, I'll be waiting outside while you do your thing, Eric. <laughs> Yay! I love this game already. I'm falling in love all over again. I suppose I'll wait for you outside as well. Bye. What thing? Go oh, ahead. You got the PDA? Of course. Here you go. Alright. Now let's get this thing a test run. Do you let us her hands quickly moved around its interface and calculated motions? By the way, you would consider letting me run some tests on you as well. It would only take a drop of your blood. What? Why? I work in biology, so obviously this kind of thing would be very interesting to us. I share the results with you, of course.
Sure, why not? Great! The grey little thing is the one guy, so trust me. Don't worry. The white one shows that you're not choosing it, so I know which one it is. If I've forgotten already, please send me a, a, a quick... Uh, I have to make sure one of my friends watch this. Like my friend Roxy, he's going to kill me for this, because I've got this game. She was quick to produce a small device from a drawer, which from a glance reminded me a lot of the test tube. What from- Oh! How did he know what I was gonna say? Myself. Cause that's what I was gonna- I was gonna say reminded me of a test tube. Yeah, if you give me your hand, please. What? Why not my arm? I thought it was gonna be my arm. As I reached out to her, she took my hand into hers. Before she pressed the device into the back of my hand, I winced as the pain jolted through my hand. Something sharp drove itself through my skin, and shortly afterwards, a droplet of blood was sucked into the tube attached to the small leader. Ow! It hurts! Damn it! Thanks. And don't be a baby. I'm not a baby. You're welcome? You gave Anna your blood. Achievement a lot! Blood donation! Looks like PDA is good. By the way, we're just about done here. Since we're both in biology, it could be interesting if you want to meet some of the other time as well. Here's my number. Alright. Wait, do I get to... Guys, if you play this case, please tell me we can date dragons. Because I'm having... Just... I don't know. See you soon. Bye. Well, that was interesting. Did she ask you for your blood too? Yeah. Did you give it to her? So I can say no. I could lie to him, but I don't want to. So I'm going to say yes. Yes. Oh, well, it's your choice. I've got no idea what they might do with it, though. I'm getting hungry. How about some breakfast? I'm all in for it. I can't stand early moments like this. There should be a problem. There's a cafe not far from here. What are you saying, Harvest? I wouldn't mind to grab a bite myself. That settles it then. I'm using my normal voice because I ain't got time. Sebastian hasn't got a voice yet. Or something. Luckily for us, the cafe was mostly empty when we arrived. And it was still pretty early in the day. Reza was quick to lend me, me uh, to a table for two. Prompting the dragons to get one of their own at the other side of the restaurant. Uh, finally, I can't stand with that being on my tail all the damn time. I'm gonna say, maybe he likes you a lot. Or, they say it's for our own security. But he kind of likes him, I think. Maybe he likes you a lot. Three. We approached by individual to be the waitress in the cafe. She was an interesting looking dragon who, unlike the others I had seen so far, was um, more akin to a great bird possessing two rather large wings for um, as for her four limbs, which resemble those of an um, oversized bat. More like bat, remember? Ah! Oh! Ah, oh, I see this in the picture! Yeah! I, uh, I see this in the Steam pictures. There's like pictures of this. Do you know what I want? I want a drawing of me with wings. Like, with like, all the dragons around me, guys. If one of you's good at drawing, that'd be so cool if I had one of my friends draw a cover, like, draw one, all of them together. Even my best friend, like, with his arms crossed, smiling, and then I'm just like, smiling in the middle, and then, and everything's just like, saying, angel, with scale of wings. Oh, it's the human! Oh, it's a dragon! Wait, where? You are able to... I've got to say this one. Congratulations! That's a good one! Ah, oh, she likes me! <laughs> Welcome to Stabulin. My name's has died. And I'll be your way to stay. What can I bring you to? Um... Well, I, uh, I like to drink coffee in the morning when I'm a bit tired on a Saturday, guys, because sometimes I like to get up early a little bit to get uh, the morning started. 
but sometimes I like to have food with it as well. Like, I like to have food as well. So I would say, how about some scrambled eggs with bacon? Yeah, me too. Just make it quick. Sure thing. Two scrambled eggs with bacon coming right up. <laughs> I want a quick save, but, uh, but I ain't got time. As I was saying, it looked... As I was saying, if you look at the big picture, don't you think there's just something off about this whole place? Where is it really? If this is supposed to be a completely separated from, separated place from a, or a different dimension, some things just don't add up. Don't you think so too? Sorry if I uh, messed up on reading, but seriously, everything could be messed up. But I might want to cut here for sure, guys, because it's night. Nine, well, 2110 right now, and I want to see if I could uh, plan something for like uh, tomorrow. But don't worry, quick save is completed, so we can load. So we can load. So we can load our save or order. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm sorry I've run out of time. But if I keep doing, if I do this over nine o'clock, there'd be a lot of problems. So yeah, if I was doing this earlier, it'd be good. So yeah, see you in the next video, guys. Bye. That's all you gotta do.